Huh. So what do we have with this, the, the, the media wave? Because it's always an influx, but it's usually consistent as part of a network that each one of these channels is covering the same issue, which is normally a non-issue, otherwise known as diversion. Sometimes, you know, some of the information is relevant. Usually it's very concise, whatever is relevant. And the, most of the stuff is just gossip garbage. Um, you know, but the wave right now is talking about this fake news. Now, these are exercises. They're prepping people for this to a state, the beast state, to, you know, this, 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 this thing. They're going to have to believe in the artificial intelligence, come and worship, and give us its information and believe, and, you know, to take allegiance to this and believe that this savior, because this is what this thing is, if you go into the, uh, the older reports, the beast savior report, you'll see. Um, you know, this, this, is their, this is their God. You know, when, you when they read the scripture, we know Satan is the master of deception. He's going to take scripture and try to flip it. To make it to take it on to themselves. So the the man has read Revelation, and the man has said to him, "Wait a minute, you know, there's some real correlating similarities here that need to be sorted out. Otherwise, this truth may be known, you know. But the man is not believing in this truth. It's just he sees how this can, thing can be interpreted this way. It is very obvious even to him, of course." Even in the last times, when all this has be, become revealed, that there's still certain of them on the earth that will deny, even though all these things have lined up because they just, they just, they're just part of something else, an invasive species, and they're determined to take everyone, you know, with them. You know, you reap what others sow, and even as they crucified the Christ by using the people to make it seem as if this was public outcry, the man had to go, all these other people agreed with it, we had nothing to do with it. Even in their construct, Pontius Pilate was off the hook because it was a system of democracy. And today, the same wizardry occurs to try to make an attempt to convince people that there's progress, that they just hang on. exercises are being conducted, they're orchestrated. The, you know, there's so much emphasis that, go, to go, that goes into foreseeing future outcomes. And this is obvious with all the development of this AI, which is to monitor and record everyone's activity and then sort it out and present it in an analysis form so that these folks can predict what trends and things are happening. This is nothing new that they've been trying to do. So it shouldn't come to no surprise. This is, this is the reason not to put a porn person body on Stephen Hawking's face, but to spy on people. Um, so, you know, I guess I would 
it would seem logical that that that, that would uh, seem contrary to liberation to be watched I mean because if you're in jail that's the purpose of being in jail you're being watched all the time that's why they have the tower that God's sitting there uh, that's why they have the little intercom on the wall so they can listen to what you're saying so if you're outside of jail and the same thing's happening you know okay don't you think that something might be wrong but you know, this part of the conditioning process, of course, people have always been being sold on health and safety, health and safety. You wear this watch, it's for your safety. You know, we put this camera on the street corner for your safety and your health. Um, you know, you feel me? So this, you know, this is being sold on these grounds. It's the easiest pitch, the national security thing, and the patriotism, you know, because people are, collective because they feel like by joining in on something of a collective they're gonna strengthen their own position um, you know it's an advantageous stance and they're going to you know go along with something if they think that the group goes along with it and so the projection is, hey, this is all cool. Look at this actor. Look at this superstar. You know, they're doing it. Um, you know, John Bama was doing it. He was, in, he was selling them watches when he was still working for the uh, feds. Um, so, you know, there's a, the whole thing about, like, the pedophile is involved in business and this ain't right. Well, that's part of the conditioning process, too so that people realize, hey, this is the way it works. You know, the Babylon right now has a choice. They can keep their secrets to themselves and hope to God that nobody, you know, comes along and tells the, the truth. Or they could tell some of the truth themselves and frame it in a way that, you know, projects the image of the beast as if this is like, you know, a necessity. This has to happen. If it doesn't, you know, all anarchy and chaos will result. And so isn't this trying to take the place of the scripture by saying that this is the savior, the God, the prince of peace, and not the prince of darkness? Now, you know, you hear about all kinds of feces and all, na and all kinds of brands and some of this is you know to be taken into account but in a wider general view you know the whole talk about fake news um, and everything this is the process of conditioning you know the kids now are learning hey don't go to certain people and listen to them because they're not telling you good information and that's not cool and so they're saying, okay, you know, we'll, we won't do that. And I think what's happening is that they're being, you know, shown messages saying, you know, this website can't be trusted or this person, you know, is this source is, isn't, um, hasn't been raided by, so, you know. And this, so they're, they're uh, channeling people into a herd to begin to move them towards that direction. And they want people to believe that this is the good direction, that there is progress, democracy, democracy. It's like, but they only see what is being shown to them. And now the you, the younger generation, believe that they got they got some extra knowledge that you don't have as an older person, say, because they got the device. And you don't really know how to use it as good as they are. You're not as savvy. So therefore, you must not be as smart because it's that idol that they're worshiping and um, believing that they have acquired power from. And even experience that they've been here, they've been there on their smartphone, so they think that they've experienced something. But the spirit is real and the spirit transcends and, and breaks through all that. And mashes it and smashes it and slices it and dices it. 
the name of King Selassie. 